Most dogs have a lot of energy that can lead to bad behavior if you do not know how to harness that into something fun and engaging. Certified professional dog trainer Michelle Douglas joins us this morning with tips on just how we have here with us, Michelle. So this is Honey. She's a six-month-old Lhasa Apso that just came through our puppy classes. And her owner. And this is her owner, Holly. Very good. And so what's happening with Honey? So we're talking about enrichment today, and enrichment is basically providing your dog with a task to focus on that helps them kind of channel their energy and, um, and, and all of their attention into doing something and productive that, that's, that's If we helpful. don't harness that, what happens? Well, we can get some behavior problems. Um, obviously, if they're eating their food out of toys like this, this is just her regular breakfast in here. And they can um, now. Oh, you sprinkle some into. dog food I here. I sprinkle just some dog food that. on top of it, and then I put it down on the on the ground. And now she's she's searching for her dog food, so she's using her instincts to do that. If I just gave her a big bowl of food and then left her alone for the day, maybe she chew on some furniture. Maybe she'd go searching through shoes. Maybe you know. So a lot of those common behaviors can be prevented by just giving the dog. Yeah, a that's task not fun when you do. come home and seeing your your furniture all chewed up. This is another one too. So this again, I put just some of her kibble in there, and if I give her this, she's probably, she's pretty interested in the snuffle mat. That's called a <laughs> snuffle mat. It's got, it just made with fleece through a mat that has holes in it. This is called a hollow bone, and then we have the very popular Kong here. That's you can also find many popular. of these items at the pet store. Yes. Yes, yeah, some of them. Now, obviously, the muffin tin, I made that. Okay. Just got some tennis balls and a, and a disposable muffin tin. And in the bottom there, there are some treats or um, food in there, and she can knock the ball out of the way and get that. And the bigger dogs can actually take the ball out and then eat the food underneath. So, and so by, it's like a little puzzle. So by doing this, by doing this, this will help her behavior? Yes, because she's using all of her energy in a, in a task that she's focused on and then she's then when she's done she's tired and she takes a nap. How long do you do this type of training? Um, I will it depends on the dog. I think that some dogs, you know, you get through the, the terrible puppyhood phase uh, with this. But um, you know my, my four year old pit bull is I still do her to some enrichment. She eats a snack out of one of these every day. <laughs> well honey's pretty hungry. <laughs> and she already had breakfast. <laughs> Oh, this is good training for her. <laughs> yes, she's absolutely. She's doing so well live on television as well. Yeah, she's not really. Uh, she was a little concerned when the camera moved by itself, the the remote camera over there. And uh, but I gave her a couple of treats, and then she's like, oh, that's no big deal. So, what's the best tip you have for pet owners out there? I think giving your again, giving your dog tasks to do. If they're getting into trouble at home, feed them out of food dispensing toys. And the other enrichment activities that are going to be on the website um, are some dog sports. So nose work, you can teach them how to search and find food or scent items in the house. Agility is a popular sport. And uh, for herding breeds, I found tri-ball. Look that one up. Okay, we will. It's, uh, it's basically herding balls, big balls, right. big like exercise balls. So check that out on mm -hmm. our website. Michelle, it's great to have you and Holly and Honey. Thanks for being here with us as well. Thank you.